Hey everyone, it's Ben Brandt, back in the shop again. And if you saw my last video about the dowel storage box, you may recognize this dowel tree project here. Now the tree itself isn't particularly interesting, and I've found that if that's the case, I need to find ways to make my projects more interesting to myself. Which brings us to the base of this tree. As you can see, my shop back works really well to hold this tree up, but that's not a long-term solution. And since I was already having fun with some interesting geometry with the box in from my previous video, I decided to try something different for the base of this tree. I wanted to use as few parts as possible and have something that could be assembled and disassembled easily. So I came up with this triangular shaped base made up of three interlocking pieces. So stick around and I'll show you how I made it. Now having just successfully used Wolfram Alpha to come up with the perfect size box for the dowels, I decided to go back to their packing algorithms to see if they could tell me how to pack the circle shape of the pole into a triangular shaped base. So I typed in my request to pack a one and a quarter inch circle into a triangle. I need a triangle with a side of length 2.16506 inches. Now there's no way I'm getting to the nearest hundred thousandth on my cuts on the table saw, but maybe I can get it close. So I went back to Wolfram Alpha, entered in that number, 2.16506, to the nearest sixteenth. And that got rounded up to two and three sixteenths. That I can measure out on my tape measure. Now if we picture the triangular opening in the middle of our base, we've got a perfect triangle with 60 degrees in each corner. And then each of the three boards is going to have a section in the middle with that 2 and 3 16 inch wide space that will make up one side of the triangle. We'll need to have 30 degree cuts flaring outward from that 2 and 3 16 strip in the middle. So here I've laid out the rough cuts on a 1 by 6 board that we'll be using. For the interlocking slots, we need to actually cut halfway into the board. So in this case, for the one by six, halfway up would be about two and three quarter inches. So I adjusted the miter gauge to 30 degrees and made the first inside cut, then used a three quarter inch board to lay out the other edge of our slot so it would be wide enough to hold that three quarter inch board and made the outside cut. After making those two cuts, the piece snaps right out and then I can just clean up the bottom with a chisel. Then I just checked it quick to make sure a three quarter inch board would fit in the slot and repeated this process five more times. Now based on the idea in my head, I made three identical pieces here with one slot pointing up and one slot pointing down. So now the moment of truth. Will it actually assemble? <laughs> put that together, but I can't put this on because it has to go in here and twist. God, that would be awesome if it actually worked then. I mean, it'll fit together, but I can't put it together. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Whoops! Now what? So, yeah, I made a couple extra pieces that I didn't need to and now I get to backtrack. So, took a step back and did what I should have done from the beginning and just mocked it up in cardboard. So originally I had three pieces with the notch on the top and the bottom like this, which would technically fit together but you can't assemble it that way. So what I need to do is I'll keep one of these pieces and then add to it uh, two pieces with notches on the same side here. So I should be able to take this one and uh, 
added on to one of these. And then I've got, you can see here, I've got two slots on the top that I can take this one in like this. There we go. And now we've got the triangular base that I was going for. So we put it right down the middle and you got yourself a nice little base. So it took a little while to get to this point. If I had done this in the beginning, I would have had to redo these parts, but I got some new pieces marked up, ready to run through the table saw, and I can get this done. Once I had it all fit together the way I wanted to, I clamped it into my edge joining sled here, cut some angles on all of the top corners just to make it look nicer, and uh, smoothed over all the sharp edges with the sander. Okay, a little bit of follow up here. My cuts were far from precise. Um, I penciled everything in, got it close enough, it fit together snugly, but one of the problems with this design is that this particular piece with the slot on the top and the bottom is not very strong because you've got grain running through here and through here but the only thing holding this entire thing together is a couple inches of grain right here and when I pushed it together it cracked it right here and that's real close to just falling apart so I'm gonna drill in from this side and this side glue in some dowels to hopefully Strengthen that up and then uh, probably come back and widen these up on the table saw so it doesn't fit quite as tight next time. Um, so a lot of work for a basic pole stand but hopefully I can make it work. but that's okay. Makes it easier to take it apart and put it away if somebody wants to store it flat. And uh, nothing's breaking this time. I like that. And it still fits our pole. Just a little bit of wiggle room, but that's okay. Awesome.